Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a very fun video, I think, and I'm going to be trying out the do-it-yourself eyelash extensions. And I am not taking credit for this video. I've seen other people do it, so I'm not the one that came up with it. I just thought that it would be fun to try because I'm going on vacation in about a week and a half. I wanted to give you guys a real-time walkthrough of what it's like to do it. I actually tried the other day, but I figured out some things to make it a little bit easier for myself. So I'm gonna take you guys through the steps and what to do and some fumbles that I came across. So let's get started. Now before we get started, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. Yes, I am an esthetician, but no, I am not certified to be doing eyelash extensions. So I'm just trying this out for myself and seeing how I like this. And I just wanted to help any of you guys out there that simply can't afford to be getting eyelash extensions every month because it is a lot of money. I just like to try things out for myself, see if I can do it at home. So please do this at your own risk. Of course, it's really easy because there is a remover that you can use if it does not come out the way that you like. So I think that's pretty awesome and you can just keep trying until you get it right. So let's get started. So I have on just face makeup, eyebrows, and some eyeliner on my bottom lash line just to give me some definition because I look pretty beady-eyed but I didn't have it on honestly. The first thing is the Ardell Lash Tight Adhesive. It comes in this little glass bottle. I got the black one and I thought about getting the clear one but I'm just going to stick to this because why not? I have my eyelash curler because I'm going to curl my lashes. I have a pair of scissors, tweezers of course, to apply the lashes. And now I want to talk about the eyelashes that you want to use. So you definitely want to use ones that are faux mink or mink if you have those. The first time around I went in with the 813 lashes and these ones are separated and they come on a clear lash band. I thought that these would be a good choice but I later found out that they are not. I actually had another pair lying around and I've used them once. They are the 812 lashes. I think these ones will be really good because they're clustered and the lash band looks a little bit different but I have used them and there is some glue on there so I'm gonna take that off so I can show you guys. So these are the 812s and as you can see the lash band is already black because when I buy lashes that have a clear lash band, I always draw over it with black eyeliner before I apply it to my eyes because I really do not like that lash band showing through. So you can do that and it'll help you out. The next tip that I have for you guys is to cut the lash band in half because the lash band is actually quite thick and I think that it would look a lot better with half of it, so I've actually done that. I actually have one on here right now from when I tried the other day, and I honestly thought that it fell off or something, but it hasn't, and I couldn't believe it because I've been wearing makeup and washing my face the way I normally do, and it stuck around. I actually checked this morning and realized it was still there. So I'm gonna show you guys how I cut that. It's really easy. I already have it separated a little bit, you can see that so you're just going to take the lash band and slice it in half so there you have it as you can see some of the lashes fell off but that's okay I actually tried gluing on individual ones but it just didn't look good at all so that is why I just decided to do this so there we have lashes I hope you can see the difference in the band size the one on this side is a lot thinner than the one on this side so now it's just time to snip off individual sections of the lash band to make little ones so you can glue them on. This is what they should look like. So I'm going to take my glue and this stuff dries really fast, like unbelievably fast. So you wanna put the cap on right after you pour it out and you will need to keep pouring it out while you're trying to do this, which is really annoying, but I guess that's the way it is. So this is a before of my eyelashes. I have so I'm going to curl. I've actually already curled this one. So I have my eyelash and I'm going to put it on top. And you will be gluing these onto the hairs, not your skin. When they start to twist, that's when it's kind of difficult. This one is actually super long. Do I even want that? So on this side, I have a really annoying gap like right here. So I'm gonna try and fill that part in. See it's twisting. It's, it's really difficult to make it 
play the way you want to. So there they are so far. It's really difficult. It's not easy. So, <laughs> oy. It has been eight minutes and this is what I have so far. It looks interesting. Now I'm going to start filling in gaps. So as you can see, I have quite a lot of gaps. And you have to go back and check to see if ones didn't adhere because you can just take those off and reapply them. All right, you guys, it's been ages since I've said anything because I've been working hard to get these on. And on camera, they look pretty good. I'm nowhere near done, I don't think. But I'm actually going to take off one of them because it's not looking cute, all right? So I have the lash remover right here, this little white bottle. Putting the tiniest bit on like the tip of the Q-tip. Just saturate it and I don't know how long I have to wait for. Quickly and safely. Ooh, it's coming off, awesome. Let's get some more of it. There we go, it came right off. Right under here you can see I have a lot of them. So I don't know if I'm gonna leave that. I don't know yet. Another one just came off. So yeah, I really have to go back and see if any aren't attached because if they're not, you obviously don't wanna leave them on there and then they'll start twisting. So many of them are coming off right now. And I just like very gently, like my fingers are hardly clasping together to check. So that pretty much worked out because now I can go back in and fill in the way that I want to. All right guys, so I'm all finished. It's been a long time with me fiddling around with these eyelashes, taking them off, putting some back on, and it does take a lot of time. So from far away, I think they look really good. I'm honestly really out of my comfort zone with these big lashes. I already hardly wear false lashes and I never wear them without any eye makeup. So I'm not used to seeing them on myself and I don't really know what they would look like on me if I got them professionally done. So it's definitely like an experimental process. I think I would like them a lot better if the glue was clear. Personally, I don't really like the look of seeing the glue. So I think that was a mistake on my part. So I am going to redo this whole process when I go away and do it with clear glue and hopefully it turns out, you know, a lot better, but I do think they look really good. This is what they look like up close. It's actually really hard to get them, you know, the way you want them to look and fluttery, but it does look like I'm just wearing strip lashes that are super, super wispy that don't have a pattern. So I hope this helped you out and inspired you to maybe try it for yourself and learn from my mistakes. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.